uh, tuko na wazee wa Maumau hapa ambao walipigania uhuru wa Kenya lakini baada ya kupigania uhuru wa Kenya walidharaulika na wakakosa kuheshimika katika hiyo ikakuwa kuna harsh judgment against the community ambao ni sisi sasa vizazi vyao tunateseka na baada ya kuangalia tukaona utafiti tukajua kwamba ni kwa sababu tulidharau wazazi wetu ndio kwa maana tunateseka na ndio kwa maana tumekuja hapa kurekebisha makosa iliyofanywa na wazazi wetu kurekebisha mambo ambayo yaliwacho walitengwa maana hawa wazee walitupigania uhuru walitutetea wengine walikufa kwenye kichaka lakini hatujaifa na ghafla kama hii ya kuwashimu ya kusema asanti ya kuambia ni kwa nini alafu pia tukiongea na wao hawa wazee walikasirika ndani yao hiyo laana imetupata maana walinyimwa mashamba wakanyimwa ukanyimwa chochote ambacho walikipigania walinyimwa kabisa Kenyata walipoenda kwa Kenyata Kenyata aliwaambia wanunue mashamba walikuwa kichakani wangenunua wapi wangenunua na nini mashamba yote ikachukuliwa na wale watu walikuwa wanawapiga sasa wazee hawa wako na hasira kubwa na hiyo hasira ndio nataka kuja kumuuliza Mungu atusamehe sisi tutanunua mimi mwenyewe mimi mwenyewe na marafiki wengine wangu tumeunganika pamoja tutanunua mashamba tutafuta pesa tutanunua mashamba at least tuwapatie hata kama ni 10 by 10 wajue wamemiliki shamba mzee kama huyu ambaye alipigania uhuru awe hana shamba ni aibu kubwa sana kwa taifa kama letu very shameful and that is why our generation watoto wetu tunaangamia magonjwa ndiyo hao ule madawa ya kulevia gayism lesbianism alcoholism hizo uh, vitu zote zimesumbua vijana wetu and this is the reason of rejecting your parents you suffer and the one that rejects his parents you will suffer again they shed their blood for the revival for this nation nobody compensated them nobody appreciated them now we are here to appreciate them it's quite a big number it's quite tuko na data ya watu 1012 wale ambao wamebaki sasa baadhi yao tuko na wao hapa but the data in number inaendelea kuongezeka we want to get the real number the actual number then we will ask every kenyan to participate we buy them a piece of land where they can build because the money for compensation that was given it was taken away by the people that were in the regime and that is the money they used to go and uh, enrich themselves uh, therefore we as the young tax we are going to reunite ourselves and find that if i can be able to build a 20 million house if i can be able to buy a plot of worth 5 million i can also be able to buy a plot for this old man they are, they are only 12000 they are only maybe 12000 who are remaining now if we get 12000 people we have the people you get 24000 people or 100000 people to buy a piece of land for this man will be okay and our nation will be healed this is where we started reconciliation from not from up there we start from these guys because they died for us they pun were punished for us they shed blood for us and we need to reconcile and then we come we do an altar not just anything do an altar because these guys they cast this nation we have to come to god repent our sin and ask for the compensation nataka sisi watu wa kilima ya Kenya tuwe tunaungana pamoja ili mkubwa wetu kashagua tusanye pamoja ili tuwe tuna tunasugumza lugha moja ili tusinje tukasigirwa na adui kwa hivyo tusugumza pamoja na tuwe pamoja na kile tulikuwa tunatakia nasikia kile tulikuwa tunataka ni uhuru tuwe uhuru na tuwe na machamba hatukuwa tukitaka kitu kingine hatukutaka tunataka upe upendo tuwe ku, tuwe kitu moja na tuungane pamoja ndio wakubwa yetu watupatie nafasi ambaye baada tutaweza kukaa kwa maana kutoka mwaka wa 1953 hatujapata kitu tuko jangwani tu tuko ma matubu tu sasa tunataka wakubwa wetu watu shinganiche pamoja na waroingee tuwe kitu moja watu watie kitu yetu